doctors and drug treatment providers and folks that were advocating on behalf of families that are struggling in recovery. And this is a huge problem. It's not just heroin, it's drug addiction in general. And I have personal experience in this as a dad. My, my daughter, Noelle, um, was addicted to drugs. And, you know, in a very, very, very public way, she had to go through this. And today I called her, <laughs> excuse me, to tell her that I was going to talk about her in this public setting. It's not easy to do. Uh, and she said, go, do it. You know, I, I want to help. I want you to be elected. If it helps you, please do it. Uh, and I'm so proud of her and the courage that she showed in a really public kind of, imagine being the daughter of a governor and you're, you're caught trying to buy um, a prescription drug that wasn't prescribed to you. That's exactly what happened to her. She was put in jail. And then she went to drug court. And it was tough. It was really hard. I know a lot of people here in New Hampshire and a ton of people in Florida that have a very similar experience. This is a huge problem for our country. How do we begin to forge consensus to solve these problems? I can look in people's eyes and I know that they've gone through the same thing that Kalum and I have. It just, it's, it crosses all lines, it crosses ethnicities, it crosses income, it crosses everything. This is the soft underbelly of our country. If we're going to have a right to rise society where people can rise up, we need to develop a much better strategy on alcohol abuse and drug abuse than we have today. And you know what? When I was governor, I got to do just that. We expanded drug treatment programs, and we made them outcome-based. If they weren't working, they stopped getting funding. If they worked, they got more funding. Guess what? They work more when you do that. We created prevention coalitions in all 67 counties, because the ultimate way to solve this problem is never have a family member get addicted to drugs to begin with. That's the way you solve this, is to create a society that is more connected and more engaged where you prevent this from happening altogether. And we got law enforcement engaged for the first time in a way that was really meaningful to help deal with the flow of drugs that in this case here in New Hampshire is just overwhelming this beautiful state. Low cost heroin crossing the border without controls is really the problem. And over prescribing painkillers is the, is the feedstock, if you will, is the gateway that creates this uh, demand for heroin. There is a solution to this. But it requires leadership. And here's my promise to you. I won't be a yapper. I'm not going to be a candidate that's going to yell the loudest or insult the person the most. That's not me. But if you want someone that can figure out how to solve a problem, if you want someone who understands that limited government and personal responsibility and individual freedom is at the hallmark of who we are as a nation, that if we abandon those basic principles that the founders envisioned, we're going to be in decline. But if we embrace them as we always have in the past, this is the most extraordinary time to be alive.